Hi, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Chewy here from Wicked Gaming. I'm playing Star Citizen today. If you don't know what Star Citizen is, well, I'm going to be posting a video at some point in the near future talking about what I think Star Citizen is. Uh, but recently they have implemented a tutorial mode, which I haven't had. Um, I've been flying this game pretty much since the pre-alpha arena commander came out a long time ago. Um, I'm not very good, far from good. There are some absolutely amazing pilots out there if you play online. You can get absolutely wrecked, so this is not a how to be amazing at flying uh, bit of footage. This is just going through the tutorial. I'll uh, probably post a video. Apparently there's a whole bunch of different sections for it. I haven't done it, so we a first try. So Not a complete novice at flying, but I'm not much better. I get distracted by a lot of other games, but I do love this one. Alright, basic flight training. Brilliant. Alright, what have we got here? Takeoff being the first one. Very important skill, I believe. Maneuvers, combat, landing... Why is that so far between takeoff and landing? Anyway, um, advanced maneuvers, combat. Alright, let's start with the first one takeoff. I shall hustle over. I'm Lucas Baramsko. Hello, Everyone Lucas. Knows me as I've served in six squadrons and qualified on almost a dozen ships. What do they call you, so Gilly? So if you put in the time, I'll get you on the path to dogfighting with the best of them. We're gonna set you up in the ship on the landing pad to your right. Hustle over right. and let's get going. Right. I uh, actually, you know, mate, I, I might it, not it, hustle because I wanna. Oh, okay. Shift to spread. Right. I got that. I'm gonna watch the ship leave. Or is it just landing? That looks cool. Oh, man. Oh, I don't own one of these. Uh, this is a Gladius. Glad that's a oh man, oh man. These things are sweet. Um, bearing in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I am playing at high graphics, not very high. So this can look even sexier. But for the footage. Um, I wasn't quite getting 60 frames or over 40 frames a second all the time so I've, I've dialed it back just to get the footage and that looks gorgeous everything in this game looks gorgeous I mean look at this thing I wonder what that is alright cool doors things alright interact press F to make things happen when it says okay alright I shall F the oh, that's awesome. Alright. So apparently I have to F the plane. Uh, uh, there you go. F. F'd it. I love it. I mean, that helmet twitches a little bit. Oh, there we go. Stop. No, no. Alright. First things first. Take a look around your cockpit and familiarize yourself with the layout. It's imperative to quickly find and access specific controls. Last thing you want to be doing in a scrap is bringing up the instructions. To look around, use left control and tap. Okay, they changed that. Alright, cannot steer. Very important to note. You'll notice the majority of your systems are disabled. I'll be controlling when they're on and offline to simulate potential scenarios and combat situations. Let's get ready for takeoff. I'll do this step by step to show you how it's done. Look over at me and watch what I do. Systems, check. Engines, check. Tower, permission for launch. Clear for launch. Copy that tower. All right, first I want to lift vertically until I'm just clear of the landing pad. Now that I'm clear, I can stray forward onto the taxiway. That looks so cool. Look at those lighting effects under the ship. Now I square my ship up with the ceiling doors. Ready for a ceiling vertical takeoff. Doors. That's what they are. That's sick. Once you're aligned, the tower will open the doors. 
Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, I just love to, oh, I can see the, <laughs> the distortion through the fold and the glass or whatever it is. That's amazing. That's it. Once I clear out, it'll be your turn. Wow, look at that. I like to see that that's not a graphic error. Oh, here we go. Turn it off for us. Yeah, that's a very good point. Thank you very Ready? much. Ready? I'm enabling your systems. We'll monitor your progress from up here. Taking off. All right. Should request permission first. Mouse button three. Right. Got ya. Ask for permission, or else they yell at you. All right. Let's do. It. Let's ask for permission. You can either do a manual or uh, automatic. Can't do automatic. Anyway, well, I wouldn't do automatic anyway. I'm not that kind of guy. Right. Man. This. All right. All right. All right. Concentrate. Concentrate. All right. Turn off free look. Strafe up. No, oh, ask for permission. Sorry. Oh, procedures. Cleared for launch. Alright, let's go. Uh, strafing. Uh, uh, right. 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 Up is R, down is F. Two and E are left and right, obviously. Uh, I just realized that down. Yep. Yeah, right. Uh, Straightforward is control. Okay, that's. I didn't know there was such a thing as straightforward, but I guess there is. Precise. That's all right. All right, let's go. So precise means it goes nice and easy and slow. All right, ready? And that was not. Okay, now straightforward onto the taxiway. That was if not slow. It, the tower should have lit up your path. Make sure you don't pitch or roll. It'll be tough to get back into proper alignment. Don't align yourself with the middle right. of the doors. Right. You'd be surprised how many crews forget that the cockpit is not the center of the ship. The tower will open the doors once you're lined up. Right. I'm you're lined, lined up. up. I, you know, I'm, I, I want to look where I'm going. All right. I call me crazy, but I like to be able to see where I'm moving. This giant spaceship of awesome. Oh yeah. It's looking solid. Hold. Alright, I'll... No. <gasps> Space! I guess I'm going up. Yeah. That's a good line, pilot. <laughs> that looks sick! Oh, Great there job. you are. I haven't seen many pull one off on the first try. I've just enabled your targeting system. Use it to target me. Alright. Target him. Why? Ha! <laughs> See what I did? Target him? Why? Alright, oh, sorry. Uh, why not? Um... Why? Good. When pursuing a target, you'll want to keep your speed as close to theirs as possible. Give it a shot. Make sure I'm targeted and hit match speed. M for match. It's pretty easy. Keep the same speed as him. Makes it easier. Right. Without crashing. I like not crashing. Great. You're locked on. Yeah. Remember, this is an autopilot, so you still have to steer. But you'll notice that once you're locked, your computer will continue to monitor my speed and adjust. It doesn't matter if I speed up slowly or stop fast. Let's see. That, my friend, is the Spire. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, yeah, she is. Moving on. Now this is my favorite part of trading, the Axial Roll. <laughs> so much fun. Yes, folks. Rolling is a great way to orient your ship to fit through tight gaps or evade incoming fire. Now you give it a go. Roll. Do a barrel roll. Okay. A and D. Spin left or right. 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 Easy. I think. Yeah. Did one. Did two. Nice uh, one. Well, well, you game seem dizzy. to be able to handle your ship, so let's see if you can handle a bit of combat. W goes faster, S goes slower. Double tap either one of them to go to 100% or 0%. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Check your radar. Boom. You should have a contact. Don't worry. It's just a training drone. 
It handles just like the real thing, but its weapons are less than lethal. Saying that, they still pack a punch, so try not to take any hits if you don't have to. Use your targeting system to quickly target the closest enemy. Target closest is C, right. Okay, now look at the top right of your hut. You should see the target displayed. This will show real-time damage, shield status, and a few other things. Shields are drawn as panels floating around the ship. They'll shrink as they weaken until they disappear completely. At that point, your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. Right. Shields are temporary damage. Right, so shields are protecting hull from damage and projectiles absorb. Yeah. Right. They absorb too much, then they can dissipate. That will go bye bye, leaving your ship exposed until it recharges, basically. Spin it around and hit yeah, let it hit somewhere now else and run out. Online. Line up your target and fire when you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Group one weapons button one, and group two weapons button two. Good shot. See a shield weakening on your hut? Yeah, it didn't like that. What are you waiting for? Go finish it off. Now you have a target. You'll have extra aim reticules. Those are predicted <laughs> impact points for pips. They'll show you where to shoot to hit a moving target. Notice you have multiple pips with varying lag. This guy's Each of those indicates tough. a weapon on your ship. The computer's trying to compensate for the varying speeds between your ballistic and energy projectiles. Alright, target photos. Right, so you predict where we'll go. Predicted impact points. Pip! This pip, you know, pip, pip, pip. Only works if the thing doesn't turn. Right. Fire control bursts. Give your weapons time to cool, or they'll overheat. Good hit. Keep firing. Oh, it's smashing! It shields are down. Finish it off with a missile. How you fire missiles? Lock on missiles. Different missiles have different lock on times requirements. In general, point forward, press mouse button 3 until it goes beep. Uh, enemy ship will receive a warning. Alright. You can do model missiles by pressing it again and again and again. Beautiful. Let's do, let's do that. Oops. Ah, I missed a page. I hope it wasn't important. Alright. Missile locking sensors are on the nose, <laughs> so keep your target in front of you long enough to lock on. Hold, it said. For multi oh, that's three. That's three missiles. Oh, where's he going? Missed. Fire again. Come on, you can do it. Let's fire some more. Boom! Alright, well, maybe let's see, we're a bit surplus to requirements. On me, let's go! Get my new system. Better put some throttle on. Captain Windy Pants. Let's move on. Uh oh. Looks like he had a friend. Take a look in your review camera. Right. That's a long way away from everything else. Rear view is that one. Yes, he did bring a friend. Do I have a gun set? No. Oh! That hit took out your weapons. Now. So hold out till they come back. Countermeasures are still online. Use them. All right. Inbound missile warning. Okay. Can launch probe. Pressing Z. Chaff explodes. Cloud and fragment. Confuse radar systems. Lock on missile with electromagnetics. Okay. Change missile types. All right. Last missile was heat seeking, so equip your flares. So that's the tip. Don't and that's boost after dropping one. Boosted thrusters right. are much hotter than a flare. Flares have a short lifetime. Don't be too quick to fire them. Another pro tip: countermeasures are fired backwards, so never fly a missile head-on. Launch countermeasure and expect it to work. Rattle. Watch it, rookie. If I can keep on his tail. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. Ah, oh, invaded. You like that? You like that? I'm on you. I'm all over you. I'm gonna be on you like white on rice. Oh yeah, come on. If my guns were working right now, you would be in so much trouble. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. 
Oh, you don't like that. You like that? You like that? Oh! He's got locked. Missiles incoming. Boom! Scared ya. Still got ya. Come on, I'm pointing at you. I'm pointing at you. Get a bit closer. He's got locked. Missiles in Where? How did he have He has backward locking missiles? Maybe uh, alright, I'll hold off a little bit of distance, let you get a bit further away, since I don't have guns. Or weapons. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a bit that was a bit quick, I think. Come on. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. There we go. Good. You got your guns back. But I'll need more time to get your missiles up. If the drone gets behind you, enter decoupled mode to disengage your main engines and allow you to spin your ship around while retaining your original vector. Press caps lock to go decouple. Okay. Uh, keep going one direction and make sure you don't crash into not about it's to crash. It's a great into way to dissuade your but make sure you check your path ahead first. Give it a try. Just remember to disengage when you're done. Come on, get behind me so I can try this decoupled mode. Or missiles incoming. We're taking hits. Check your heart for shield and damage status. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Come on. On me, rookie. Where are you going? He's got locked. Missiles incoming. You got your missiles back. Take it out. Boom! Good kill. We're heading back to the landing pad to restock and refuel for the final part of your training. On me, rookie. That. That was fun. That was fun. Not bad for a tra training exercise. Waiting on you, kid. I'm right behind you, you sook. Back there, kid. Let me guess. You're the leader commander, man. <laughs> roll credits. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Come, man. Just gonna have her. That's sweet. Love it. Love it a lot. Alright. Let's turn that off again. Alright. Oh, come on, why am I going slow? My throttle's at 100%. <sighs> this should be close enough. Landing systems turn on and off by pressing N. Well, same as uh, right. Once engaged, be able to land. Cannot shoot things. Right. N. Once landing mode's active, your HUD's going to swap out your combat systems for landing-specific functionality. You can cycle through available landing pads, the same as cycling through targets. Right. Let's do that. Y or C. Uh, why? Once you've that targeted one. the landing pad, request permission to land. Ask by pressing mouse three again. Okay, same as asking to go. Other people can't lock on if I do that. Right, that's handy. Uh, request press. Uh, all right, now. Go ahead and pick a landing pad. I picked that one. Yep, yeah, that one. 
Your radar is replaced by the landing system. It'll guide you to your pad and help you perform a safe landing. You can use the automatic ETL landing procedure or do the whole thing manually. I'm a manual kind of guy. Manual mode. Let's go. Alright. Make sure your ship stays within the bounds of the pad and keep your eye on your pitch and roll. Alright, let's go over there. Is there a way I how do you how do you keep an eye on your pitch and alright, I can I can do roll. What about pitch? Uh yeah, alright, 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 I got this. Alright, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Alright. Let's get it. Whoa! A little, a little bit too far. Alright, there we go. This strafe is awfully quick when landing. I think that's... Is that flat? Alright, alright. What does that red line mean? Is that a, a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, uh, maybe? Ah, uh, I see. I see! So I'm guessing if it's not got the extra lighting, it's okay. Alright, coming down nice and gentle. That's that's a good thing to do. Deploy the landing gear. Alright. Touch, 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 gentle, gentle. Aha! Great work. While we're waiting, feel free to take a look at your ship setup. Right. Home will let me interact with the HUD with the cursor. Right. Precursor. Right. Using up arrow and return, you can spin through four different things. F1 is overview. F2, weapons. F3, power. F4, shields. Overview panel lets you look at everything. Roughly. Okay. Like an overview or something. I don't know. Uh, weapons plan gives you ability to assign weapons to groups, so I could assign everything in a group one, make it go pewdie pewdie pew all at once. Yes. Uh, power plane means all right, the same as what they had in in Wing Commander. That was such an awesome series. Um, all right, so you can make it more to shields or engines, depending on if you're running away or fighting. Shield plan. Uh, okay, make it. So you can go all... And there you'll see your weapon groups, shield configuration, and power distribution. I wouldn't mess around with them during training. Right. Well, I'm gonna sort of... We'll get them anyway. And play with them. Alright. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, there's all three guns there, so you can assign it to the group. Um, that's pretty cool. What? So what, I hit... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, see, now they're all in the one group. Right. For training purposes, I'm going to leave like that. Why not? Throttle. Power can if I add more to that, will I mean to go faster? Shield. All right, sweet. I'm happy with all that. I understand. I can go Jean-Luc Picard and say, oh, shield Let's forward. Get back out there. Take off when you're ready. I am ready. Do I have to ask permission? Think you can stay on my tail? Whoa, shit! These ships aren't cheap. Keep up, kids. You're blowing it. Throttle is up. If you need to get up to top speed in a hurry, try boosting. How did that? How is that even a thing? All right. Boosting will let me accelerate quickly and overdo the thruster. Okay. High IR and all right. Limited fuel for it. Yeah. All right. You can also use it to overpower your maneuvering thrusters in order to take tighter because corners. Slightly damaged wing. Improve cornering by hitting boost. All right, done. And space brake. Let's go. Let's go. I'm falling asleep here. Oh, blah blah blah. You do have a limited amount that takes time to replenish, so don't go nuts with it. If you need to cut your speed in a hurry, use your space brake. It's much quicker than dialing back your engines, and the moment you let go of it, you'll automatically accelerate back up to your previous speed. Right up. Space brake. Throttle it. Right. 
make go really slow and but doesn't you're gonna give well. up now come on push yourself lies and blasphemy think you can put all this together let's see that's a little bit narrow up, kid. You're blowing it. Shit. what the hell's wrong with you I think I need to practice uh 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 with uh, me, uh, kid. uh good job now one thing you need to understand Every ship's outfitted with systems to look out for you. That last sharp turn, you probably felt your ship clamp down on the speed. I think that was hitting That's the your asteroid. Safe system kicking in, making sure that you aren't taking too many g-forces and blacking out. If you need to get that extra edge in turning, you can disable g-safe, but be warned: an unconscious pilot turns to a dead one pretty quick. Yeah. Lift control, cap slot. All right. So bang, bang. Uh, if I was crazy. Let's go, let's go. Uh, asleep, yeah, I think I'm going to leave that on. You also have Comstab, which adjusts your forward velocity so you can make controlled turns. Disabling Comstab will allow you to maintain your velocity in turns, but you will drift wider. Right, well, let's not drift wider while we're going through those things. Alright, so that's the same cycling as the G-Safe. Think fast. These gaps are awfully small for dr drifting my car, uh, spaceship car. Oh shit! Watch it, Space. You're gonna give up now? Come on, push yourself. I'm not giving up? I'm just crashing. Oh god, I'm terrible at this. Alright. Alright. Where are you? There you are. Two kilometers away, leave me. Kid, you're blowing it. Yeah, I am. On me, rookie. Oh, did I spin around? Oh, how embarrassing. On a YouTube video as well. I'm coming! Stop crying. I told you I'm not a good pilot. Still with me? Alright. I'm a little impressed. <laughs> you shouldn't be. Alright. Let's 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 alright, focus time. Focus. Race you to the spire. Hold on, I've got contacts inbound. Contact, Pando fighter, dead ahead. Jesus. All right. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. No, this All is your the spaceship. This is a live fire encounter. Mark your target. Copy that. I got it. This is wing gone. Where's the other one? Bye bye, bad boy. More? You want Stay more? Sure. We've got more hostiles in bow. Looks like there's a glaive in the mix. That glaive's a recognized ace. Enemy designation is tank. We're gonna have to work together to take the oh, target the glaive. Alright. Oh, okay. Can cycle, but it came up first. Check your and damage status. Good kill. Glaze down. You're clear to engage the rest. Good luck. Yeah, I am. Watch it, rookie. Excuse me, but have you heard about? A great Lord and Savior, Cthulhu. Hell of a training session, huh? Yeah, it was. I'm getting erratic power spikes from your ship. It must have hit your power plant. Your ship's loaded with military intel, so we can't let it fall into enemy hands. But I like this ship. You'll have to initiate self-destruct before you eject. But there's a friendly base just there. <sighs> All right. All right. All right. Alright, alright. No self destruct. Oh, now. Oh, good idea. Get out. Right, I'll get out. Uh, on, out. Let's get out. Come on. S quit get stressing, out, man. Out. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm good, bro. Close there, kid. I'm good, bro. Okay. Let's get you back to base. First round's on me. Yes, yes, they are. I will under your.
Well, that was... That seems to be like the whole thing, so I wonder if that was all those things that I flicked throughout the start. Or if I've got more adventures to come with the training tutorial. But anyway, that was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed that video, uh, like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. Find us on you on uh, Facebook and all those other social media whatnots. And uh, thank you very much for watching. This is Chewie from Wiki Gaming.